Hello, Caney Creek. This is our first live broadcast. Thanks everyone for tuning in. Um, we've got some special awards to give out today, but before we do that, I did want to make a comment on this t-shirt I'm wearing. I know you've seen some teachers around the school wearing this shirt today. And the reason we're doing that is to celebrate Developmental Disabilities Awareness Month, which is what March is. So I want to read a little paragraph about that. In, in 1987, President Ronald Reagan proclaimed March as Developmental Disabilities Awareness Month. The deinstitutionalization movement of the 70s and early 80s had laid the foundation for significant social change and the presidential proclamation called upon Americans to provide the encouragement and opportunities necessary for people with developmental disabilities to reach their potential. As these citizens began living within the general community in larger numbers, programs to provide career planning, job coaching, and supported employment began to emerge. The idea that individuals with developmental disabilities could become productive members of the workforce was new to many people and entrenched preconceptions had to be overcome. Advocates recognized a moral imperative to engage individuals with developmental and other disabilities. With the passage of the Americans with Disabilities Act in 1990, workplace discrimination against people with disabilities started to decline. So we're wearing these shirts today to celebrate that momentous occasion and the Developmental Disabilities Awareness Month here in the US. All right, now we have some awesome awards and we wanted to do this live. We couldn't bring all the kids into the gym together or auditorium together due to the restrictions that we have in place right now. So we wanted everyone to have a chance to get to participate in this program. So today we are announcing senior superlatives and I'm gonna go ahead and get started with that. So we are going to start with the most athletic and our most athletic boy award goes to Thomas Kreider. Good job, Thomas. Hope everyone's clapping for him. Great job. Our most athletic girl I was not able to be here today, but that goes to Itzella Darkenwald. And now we have most likely to succeed. Our most likely to succeed boy is Derek Breeden. Congratulations. Congratulations, Derek. And our most likely to succeed girl, Juana Hernandez. Congratulations, Juana. Look right there. Good job. Now we have friendliest boy, and that is Donovan Krim. Congratulations, Donovan. Congratulations, Thank Donovan. You. That camera. Wow. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> and our friendliest girl uh, goes to Itzella Darkenwall. A class clown, our class clown boy, probably no surprise to many of you, Julian Mayo. Congratulations. Thank you. Good job, Julian. And our class clown girl award is Jemiah Wills. Jemiah could not be here today either. Our most spirited boy is, again, Julian Mayo. Great job at the pep rally. Thank yes. You. Good job. And our most spirited girl award goes to Kylie Colson. Great job, Kylie. Thanks. Our most artistic boy is Victor Barrera. Congratulations. Thank you. And our most artistic girl. Um, could not be here today either, and that is Araceli Pacina. Now our best dressed boy is Victor Molina. Good job, Victor. Looking sharp. Thank you. And our best dressed girl, Marissa Hansen. Congratulations. And the last two awards, Mr. 
Caney Creek High School, Matthew Hernandez. Good job, Matthew. Good job. And our Miss Caney Creek High School goes to Itzella Darkenwald. Now also, I did want to announce the seniors you voted on class song. And the class song that you voted on, so your official class song for prom, is Congratulations by Post Malone. So I think that's a great choice. Y'all did a great job. I know this is just one of the first of many ceremonies we're going to be having this spring for award ceremonies and things like that for seniors. We'll also have award ceremonies for freshmen, sophomores, and juniors. So 